Production in action! <laughs> In the Philippines, the word lechon seems to stand for anything that's roasted rotisserie style, oh, with please. the most popular no. example being their <laughs> famous please, pork help. lechon. This is... <laughs> this is insane. This is the definition of celebratory food in the Philippines. Folks in the countryside roast it on bamboo, turning it by hand. Do they keep it moving this whole time? Yes, for the whole four or five hours. They take turns also. That's like a good upper body workout. Or you can order from a place like Rico's Lechon in Cebu City, where they use steel rods and rotate each pig mechanically. Uh, is he? Is that a sauce mop? Yeah. It's not just pork though. Here what in Davao the City, hell? they love their chicken mop. Is that a sauce mop? That looks yeah. disgusting. It's not just pork though. Here in Davao City, they love their Dirty chicken mop. Mando. Machine turned until the meat is crispy on the outside, but inside it's bursting with juiciness. Wow, that chicken is so fragrant, wow. so flavorful. Today we're blowing right past boring old pork and chicken and straight to crocodile lechon here at Davao <laughs> Crocodile Park. Not only is it a conservatory and they're trying to help preserve and replenish the crocodile population, they're also growing crocodiles for consumption. But if some crocodiles are endangered, why is it okay to eat them? I'm meeting up with crocodile marketing expert Brent to learn more. <laughs> What's a crocodile's least favorite sound? I think the word that we normally say Ooh, ooh. They don't like that? They don't okay. like that. Then can you stop doing that, please? Yeah. Because they're like right there. All right. <laughs> they're good. And this is a conservatory. Rescue center, actually. Also, you can eat some of them. Yeah. <laughs> Not all of them. We have to make sure that we get the not endangered type of crocodile. I'm going to come. Yeah. So you have a ton of different species uh, of two. crocodile here. You have two different species of yeah. crocodile here. But the ones we're eating, they're not the they're ones not. that are here, right? Yes. Today we're having a full-on crocodile feast, including the incredibly unique crocodile crispy pata. Uh, what part of the chicken, chicken is this exactly? <laughs> I haven't seen... Uh... But first, we're gonna prepare our croc for roasting. Today's crocodile is um, farm-raised, five to well, six years old, and weighs in at 30 kilograms. Don't show him but naked, first, Jesus they need Christ. to secure it onto the steel rod, which is much harder to do with a crocodile. It's basically like a giant chicken breast. It's not gonna hold on. And so they have to take kind of the spine, tie it inside. We're gonna put in all these There's seasonings animals, and allowed, then they'll right? put it back together and tie it again, right? Exactly. Just like pork lechon, this croc is stuffed with a ton of seasonings. And do you season the inside of the tail too? Yeah. I mean grass, celery. And then the onions, onion leaves. Bell peppers. Whoa, lots of chilies here. Is this gonna be spicy? A little bit. You put it on and I'll like push it in there. Do some CPR oh, here. Nice one. Well, do we need to season this arm at all? Literally like my suitcase coming here when I flew. I wasn't even this pack. After being stuffed with seasonings, they add in soy sauce, sew it all the way shut and let it sit in a refrigerator overnight. It is the next day. We are here with a freshly marinated crocodile. You know, when you sew it up, it really becomes a bit more slender. And now we're gonna have a roasting process that's gonna take three hours. <laughs> this whole thing is oh, it is like a thousand degrees here. <laughs> yeah. In Fahrenheit, in Celsius, it's like seven. You roll it continuously for three hours. So this has to be done manually. Yes, yes. You're Most doing this for the next on. three hours? Oh man, I feel bad. Can we pay him overtime or something? Like time and a half? <laughs> I think so, we can do that. I'm just a little <laughs> concerned. I just want to use my influence. All right. That's a tough job. It's a protein-rich uh, meat without too much uh, fat. It's it's a good meat. How many people do you think this will feed? More than 50 people. This is going to keep rotisserizing for three hours. And, uh, and thank you, my man. Thank you. Maybe extra vacation day? All right. While the crocodile is roasting, I'm meeting up with Jane, who's gonna show me three crocodile dishes offered at their restaurant, Riverwalk, mm. home of Crocodile CC. Jane? Yes? What an astounding ensemble of food entrees. Yeah, beautiful food. Our three croc entrees include crocodile spicy, crocodile steak, and crispy pata. Now we're getting some of the crocodile steak. Crocodile steak is deep fried, set on a hot plate, and covered in gravy. Oh. Nice. Not spicy. 
Mm. What I like is there's some beef bouillon on here. It's crocodile that's kind of dressed up like a cow. It's the best of both worlds. Crocodile spicy starts with garlic, onion, then the crocodile meat. Their onslaught of seasoning has no shortage of chili powder or hot sauce. Once it turns a sufficient shade of hell, it's ready to eat. The crocodile is so spicy that the camera guy had to run out the door while it was being cooked. The air around it became spicy. It's very that cool. That sounds very enjoyable, then. It on my plate. must be fun to put it in your mouth. Shots right now. People are getting hungry. They're yeah. really enjoying it so far. Let's Raw try this out. I'm gonna fork it up. Mmm, that was yummy. It is spicy. It's a bit spicy, but I, I welcome it. Now she it's lives a there. Spice. She eats this, and she even thinks it's spicy. It's crocodile think meat about is a that. tough one because it doesn't have much fat at all. It can become a little bit tough. Next up, crispy pata. It's legendary in the Philippines. Pork hock fried until crispy and irresistible. Today we're doing it with a croc hock, deep fried for about five minutes. Here from the rear hock. Okay, and it's been frying oh, for a good amount of time. Did you see that? Can I bring this home? Sure. <laughs> so I'm gonna tear off some of this meat right here. Oh, that looks nice. Steaming, hot, crispy. We're gonna throw it into some of that sauce there, and let's try some of this crocodile pata. Mmm. Mm. It is good. Mm hmm It's my favorite. Nutrition facts. Crocodile is low in calorie, so it's mm -hmm. a good meat. So you can eat a ton of it. Yeah. Obviously, no you can see just tremendously crunchy on the outside, but the arms actually have a good amount of kind of sinewy fat in there that make it a bit crocodile softer. Crocodile Reptiles and birds are calories. closely related in a lot of ways. It's like the arms of the crocodile are a little bit like dark meat. Is that possible? Is this an evolutionary meat. discovery? We can tackle that. 100 later. calories? Let's tackle that later. Completely unique. I never would have imagined this was a real thing. You've absolutely murdered it. Well, um, you know what I mean. We was, nailed it. Nailed it. You nailed it. They also murdered this crocodile. Life. Finally, after our long wait, it's time to check oh. in on our crocodile lechon. The whole crocodile is beautifully roasted. It's ready to come off. What is the yeah. best part of the crocodile? The most recommended part is the belly. Closest that we can get from the spices inside. So from here, we're just going to pull it off, right? Yes. So right now we're transferring the big old croc. And <laughs> That's yeah, a small buddy. one, though. So okay. we're going to cut the, the strings. Before jumping in, they cut off some of the strings and pull out the steel rod. That is a clean removal. We're oh, digging shit. in right away. Where we're taking way? off the hind quarter. <laughs> to eat the paw, the crocodile paw. Oh, we're going to eat the paw. Yeah, Why so. not start with the paw? I think it's good luck. So <laughs> this is so gnarly. Crocodile arm. The back, well, leg. The back leg. You can tear it off. Okay, so I'm gonna just tear off the hand. So I can just gnaw on the skin. The skin can be used for making wallets, belts, and so on. But the skin that remains can be eaten and Ugh. shared with friends. Peel the skin off just like that. Now, listen, I would feel so selfish to eat this alone. <laughs> I got a piece for you. Yeah, that's not right. That <laughs> looks awful. I'm ripping off this other piece of skin here from the hand, and let's just jump into it. Cheers. That's really tasty. <laughs> I did not expect that. That is out there. Crispy, gelatinous. It's got some like firm gooeyness to it. Tell me that's good for men's stamina or something. Now we're gonna dig into the most delicious part. Yeah, the belly part mm. of the crocodile. So all the seasonings have soaked into the meat there. We're gonna have a, a nice reveal here in a second. And you can see all those beautiful spices we had put in there previously. Yeah. And the aroma, the steam coming out of here, it's like a Vietnamese sauna. It's nice. Lemongrass, beautiful fresh cut of crocodile belly. That looks tasty. Golden, reddish, orange on the outside. The moment of truth, the roasted crocodile lechon. Let's go for it. Mmm, that's tasty. It's somewhere between chicken and fish. It's got some chickeny texture and a little bit of fish flavor. It's a bit firm. It's a little tough, but it's not bad. Completely unlike anything else I've ever had. I mean, it's a whole freaking crocodile. Are you guys hungry? I'm honored that Davao Crocodile Park roasted this croc, serving up this unbelievably unique experience just for us. So the least I can do is share with some visitors and get their thoughts too. Trying Crocodile Lechon for the first time. Why don't you get one of those little mm. toothpicks? And uh, I didn't cook this one, so you can't sue me or anything if you don't like it. We have a close-up camera on your face right now. Every emotion you feel will be revealed to people watching. <laughs> what do you think? It's good, actually. I think it's just with the presence of... <laughs> that was that voice? Watching. What do you think? It's good, actually. I think it's just with the presence of the head. Watching. What do you think? It's 
good actually. <laughs> I think it's just with the presence of the head of the crocodile. But I like the taste. Okay, the big moment. And you can tell us your honest <laughs> your feelings. The meat is quite firm. Yeah, it's very delicious. Yeah. Especially with the sauce. Wow, what a moment. First time having crocodile lechon. Uh, it tastes bad. Uh, no. <laughs> lizard. Liz it tastes like a lizard. How many lizards have you eaten? Uh, a lot in our farm in the mountain. No, one of the I've never had that yet. This is my first time to taste crocodile. What is the taste? It's good. Just yeah? like the giant monitor lizards you eat back home. <laughs> yes, just like that. That's something we can all relate to, I think. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Here at Davao Crocodile Park, I've tried crocodile ice cream and now crocodile what? lechon. If you want me to try crocodile eggs in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. Right That's now amazing. in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can- uh, Let's watch a little bit of one last.